Hello, dear students. Welcome to a new science lecture video. I'll go for a quick revision about the light lessons. So we said that the light is an energy. It is made of electromagnetic waves. And there is a kind of light that we cannot see. It is invisible to us, like the infrared light, the ultraviolet light, while the visible spectrum is the only part the only type of light that we can see and it is provided by different sources some of them are natural sources some others are artificial like the light bulb the sun for example is a natural source of light and the sun sends us um, an invisible kind of light which is the ultraviolet uh, light and it also sends us the white light which is visible to us the light uh, travels in space in straight lines as you can see but when it gets blocked by an opaque object like the tree in this picture for example um, shadows are formed so shadows happen when light gets blocked by an opaque object okay so you'll need to know that opaque objects block light from passing through this what creates um, shadows behind them um, do transparent objects make shadows no they don't in order to get shadows you'll need something to block the light transparent objects let the light pass through so they do not black block the light they do not make shadows translucent object let some of the light pass through so behind them you'll see an unclear image of the um, object um when light rays hit um, um a reflecting surface a very smooth surface like the surfaces of mirrors light uh, reflects okay and this doesn't happen um uh, it, it needs a rule there is a law called a law of uh, reflection this is the incident ray it is the ray that hits the uh, surface of the mirror and um, you'll need to draw the normal in order to measure the angle of incidence once you have the angle of incidence you will need to uh, draw or to measure the angle of reflection on the other side of the norm normal and this way you'll get your reflected uh, ray so there is a law of reflection saying that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection and as i said light rays reflect when they hit a very smooth surface um, what happens to light rays when they pass from a transparent object to another transparent object? So like from the air to the glass, from, um, so this is the incident ray. The incident ray had to continue its way straight, but since it is going from the air into the glass, it bends, it refracts. Okay, um, same thing for the other side. So this is the incident ray. If um, the light ray was in the air, the incident ray will continue its way without um, a bending. But since the light ray is passing from the air into the water, so the light ray bends and it refracts. So this is a refraction happening. Okay, reflection is when light rays uh, bounce off an object. You'll need a very smooth surface. And a refraction is when light rays bend when they go from a transparent object to another transparent object this is refraction today's lesson is about something um different so here we have the source of light which is the light bulb an artificial source of light what uh, make this light source light up it's the presence of the battery, right? So you will need to place a battery in a circuit in order to get the light uh, from the light source. Today's lesson is about electricity. What is electricity? Um, listen to me. So um, everything around you is made of atoms, small thing, things. Those are the building blocks that build everything around us, okay? Um, so things around us are made of atoms. Inside those atoms, there are tinier particles called electrons. And those electrons can move from an atom to another atom. When this flow or this passing, let's say, when electrons move from one atom to another, they create an en energy, which is the electricity. Today's lesson is about electricity. And again, electricity is the flow of electrons in a circuit, okay? So today's lesson is about electricity. So here is an electric circuit. What are the elements of an electric circuit? You will need the source 
of the electricity. Here we have the battery. It can be a generator. Um, here we have the battery as a source of the uh, electric uh, current. Okay, this is the battery. And then the battery is sending uh, the electric current through the circuit. So look how the current moves. Electrons move from the negative side of the battery, look at the arrows, and then back to the positive side. And then uh, this uh, circuit or this flow st starts all over again. You have the switch. The switch, uh, as you can see, on up, so you can uh, turn the circuit on or you can turn it off. You can stop the flow of electrons through the circuit or you can keep it to keep the electric current. Here we have the device. The device, it can be a motor, it can be a light bulb, it can be a TV, anything that needs electricity to work. And we have the wires connecting all the things together or the elements of the circuit together. So the battery, and this is what we call a simple electric circuit. So you'll need a battery, you'll need a device, you connect them using wires and you can place a switch to turn the circuit on or off. So, so this is um, a real image of a simple circuit. As you can see, there is a battery in here. This is the source of electricity. It's the battery, okay? And electrons move from the negative side of the battery to the uh, positive side. So those arrows, they show the flow of electricity in a circuit. Okay, in here, the device is the light bulb, the lamp, and they added a switch. This switch allows you to control the flow of electrons in the circuit. You can turn the circuit on or off. What are the parts of an electric circuit? Help me with them, we just saw them. You will need a source of electricity, okay? From here, from the source, the electric current uh, comes. So this is the battery. The wires, those are the blue lines. They connect all the elements of the electric circuit together. The device, a TV, a, a computer, um, um, a video game, anything, a fridge, a microwave. So right here we have the light bulb and you can add a switch to control, as I said, the flow of electron. When you turn the switch um, on, uh, you are letting the uh, electrons pass through. When you turn it off, it uh, stops the flow of electrons. Okay, how does the switch uh, work? Look at this and look at this. And this is uh, the switch in those two, uh, electric circuit. We have a battery as a source of the electric current. Battery in both circuits. We have the wires, wires connecting all the elements together, the device, which is the light bulb. And here is the switch, okay? When the switch um, is opened right here, look, the switch is opened. Electrons are not flowing in the circuit. So we call it an open circuit. The circuit is open. The switch is open. Electrons cannot go uh, through. Okay, there is a gap that is, um, the, the switch is open. So electrons cannot pass. Okay, in the second one, in the closed circuit, the switch is closed. Okay, so the circuit is closed. And now, as you can see, look at the electrons, the um, red light, uh, the red dots, they are moving from the negative side. Okay, can you see the negative sign? From the negative side, and they move through the circuit and back to the positive side of the battery. So this is a closed circuit. Look at this, is it an open circuit or a closed circuit? What do you think? It is an open circuit for sure. Look at the gap. So uh, this wire needs to be connected to the lamp in order for the electrons to uh, flow. So this is an open circuit. And look at this, this is also an open circuit. So um, uh, the light bulb does not light up 
okay so um there is no electricity passing through the circuit so the light bulb is off light bulb is off light bulb is off because the circuit is opened okay do we always need to draw a battery a light bulb to represent um, a light or an electric circuit no so scientists made or invented a symbols for you to draw um, an electric circuit okay look at this simple circuit it has a battery in it it has a switch it has a lamp it has wires only uh, also okay to draw the circuit there are symbols this is the symbol of this is how you draw this electric circuit so this is how you draw a battery okay so we place the battery in here look at them okay so this is the battery and also there is a light bulb how do we draw a light bulb you will need to draw a round with an x inside so here it is so you added the light bulb the switch so right here, as you can see, the switch is opened, I think, because the light bulb is off. So you'll choose to, you will choose to um, draw this one. Here it is. And then you connect all the elements together using lines. Okay, so there is a symbol for the lamp, symbol for the battery, symbol for the switch, whether it was opened or closed. And this is how you draw, you make your own demonstration of the circuit battery lamp up and switch and the wires that connect everything together okay look at this uh circuit another circuit with a battery and with three lamps so what will you will need to do you will need to draw uh, to draw a battery the symbol of the battery you will need to draw the symbol of three lamps since the circuit has three lamps in it and then you connect them using wires okay some materials let um, electricity pass through, some others do not. Look at this. Um, here we placed, I want you to look at this. Wood, the light bulb is off, so the current isn't uh, moving. Copper, light bulb on, glass off, steel on. What do we conclude? That some objects, they let electricity pass through. This is what makes the light bulb light up. Like the copper, for example, the glass insulator, steel conductor, wood insulator. How did I know? Because um, if an object is a conductor, it lets electricity pass through. So again, wood insulator, because the light bulb is off, it doesn't let electricity pass through. Copper conductor, glass insulator, and steel conductor. Some objects let electricity pass through, some others do not. Look also at this. Okay, so when you place ceramics, for example, in a circuit, okay, and even when you close the uh, a switch, the light bulb doesn't light up. This means that the ceramics is an insulator, but when you place a metal, uh, in here and you close the switch you can see how how the light bulb lights up so it is a conductor okay um light uh, or water is also a conductor of electricity so you have to be careful when your hands are wet when your body is wet don't uh, go near or touch an electric uh, device so this is all for today. Our lesson was about electricity, conductors, insulators, and so on. Uh, electricity is the flow of electrons in a, a circuit. In an electric circuit, you will see a battery, wire, switch, uh, or any, and any device. Um, you need to know how to draw an, elect an electric circuit. So look at this. You have, this is the symbol for the battery. This is the switch right here. Um, I think this is a light bulb, you need an, uh, to add an X inside, and um, there are some objects that are insulators, some others that are um, conductors. Thank you for watching.